What to text a woman when she flakes on you. So, fellas, I'm gonna be giving you two text messages that you need to start sending when women flake on you. Now, the way I'm gonna illustrate this is I'm gonna show you a couple different situations. I'm gonna show you one situation where a client of mine did it completely wrong and another situation where he did it right. You're gonna see the difference. Let's get into the first situation. So, he's texting a girl named Kyra. Kyra is not her real name. She says, hey, I just got back and I am absolutely exhausted. I don't don't think I'm going to make it out. Now, they were supposed to meet up for drinks that evening. It is a Thursday and she texts him at 7.05 p.m. and I believe they were getting drinks at around eight or nine, so pretty short notice on her letting him know for that. And he says, okay, no problem. What about tomorrow? Asks her out immediately after that. She says, I'm having wine with the girls tomorrow, unfortunately. And then he says, all right, well, are you free at all this weekend? Question mark. She says, I'm not sure yet. I'll let you know when I take a look at my schedule. And I think we know where that went. Um, they never texted again. Okay, so basically what happened here was not only did he do the wrong thing when she asked, he basically tried to make plans with her immediately afterwards, completely ignored the fact that she kind of, you know, it's a little bit rude to cancel on somebody two hours before, completely ignored everything and just immediately asked her out and repeatedly and just lost a lot of respect and then she had no intention of meeting up with him after that. What should he have done instead? Well. I have an example of what he might have done that would have worked a little bit better, okay? So let's look at my other client. He is texting a woman named Darcy. Darcy is not her real name. So uh, they were supposed to have a date. I don't really know what they were doing, but um, around the same time. And she says, hey, sorry, I just remembered I have to watch my dog today because my roommate is away, so I won't be able to make it. So she sends this at 6.30. Again, pretty short notice to cancel on somebody. Okay, and he says, oh, okay, thanks for letting me know. And then he sent nothing after that. And by the way, there was a long silence after this. And so she responds hours later. She says, are you okay with meeting up later this weekend though? Question mark. And she says, how about brunch on Sunday? So, it's not like she came back. She realized that the ball was in her court and she had to make a move, otherwise they probably weren't gonna see each other. And then uh, he says, I could do brunch on Sunday. How about 11 a.m. at Yard House? And then she says, that sounds great. See you then. So what happened after that? Well, let's go to Sunday. So this is exactly the way that I want you to respond to someone who cancels on you at the last minute. Okay, if they flake, they canceled the last minute, basically just say, okay, thanks for letting me know. And then don't say anything else. Again, the ball is in their court to change plans. They're the one who canceled the last minute and if a woman really wants to see you, if she's making this a priority, you know, she will message you back trying to get things going again. And it's up to you if you want to go out with her again. I usually give women two opportunities and then after that, call it quits. Then on Sunday, uh, they made plans at 11. She texts him at 8, 12 a.m. and she says, hey, I'm so sorry to do this again but I went out last night and I'm feeling super rough. And I just remembered I have to hang out with my family today. Rain check. So she's asking for a rain check, seeing if they can do it again. And he says, hey, it's looking like it's not meant to be for us. Take care. And that is the exact message that you want to send at that point. Look, no woman, if you, she's canceled on you at the last minute twice, two times, you gotta let her go, okay? Two strikes and you're out two flakes, and there's no reason to give her a third opportunity, okay? I've never seen that really work out. So what does she respond with? She says, I mean, I said I was sorry. At least I gave you the courtesy of letting you know. She gets no response, and then she says, okay, fine, bye. So probably made the right move on that one, given by how uh, angry she got. So that's the exact way that I want you guys to handle getting flaked on, is you say, number one, Hey, thanks for letting me know. Then don't say anything after that. And then if she tries to make plans with you again and you guys figure something out and then she still cancels on you, then you just say, hey, look, it's not meant to be. You know, I, I guess you're up to other things. You know, you seem busy. You don't even have to say all that. You have your answer and the answer is this person is not gonna be the right one for you. You should focus on someone who's actually gonna make time for you. And even if this person was just being like, you know, incompetent or she actually forgot. You know, is that the kind of person that you wanna allocate time out of your schedule for again? 
as a guy who's doing stuff that's important, you know, you should be someone who's careful with their time and you can't just give it away. And if you continually give away your time like the first guy was again and again, women will respect it less and less, okay? So, you're probably wondering, Lloyd, I get it, that's great. I know how to handle it when a girl flakes on me, but how do I prevent them from flaking in the first place? Okay, that is exactly what I am here to speak about on this YouTube channel. That's exactly what I coach guys on. It comes down to a few things. Number one, you gotta check in with them during the week. You gotta set up your life in a way where just flaking happens to you less and less. This comes from having abundance, having options, and picking women that are actually gonna put you first and picking women that are actually gonna make you a priority. And also it comes down to just having more confidence. Like this is the whole part of the game. This is exactly what I coach guys on on a daily basis. And if you wanna get help from me directly for that, then what I want you to do is go to the bottom, click the link, get coachedbyloyd.com, fill out the form, and schedule a call with me or somebody else from my team. Thanks so much, you guys. And if you wanna get access to more videos where I talk about this sort of stuff or get a wingman, join my free school group. That stuff is completely free, so you can click the link down below for that as well, too. And like I said, if you wanna get personal help from me, fill out the form. Thanks so much, you guys. Good luck out there.